Hey everyone, my name is Justin from justthisgood.com and in this quick tutorial I'm going to show you how you can save a photo that came out too dark in camera raw. So if you don't know what a raw photo is, it's just a shooting mode on many cameras that saves the information about exposure in other parts of the photo that allows you greater freedom when you go back and edit it. So when you open a raw photo, Photoshop will open up camera raw and this has settings such as exposure, contrast and others to allow you some freedom in adjusting the photo. Now in this photo, the entire building portion came out black, and sometimes silhouette-like photos like this can be interesting, but in this case, there's some cool details that we're not able to see on the walls. So I'm gonna show you how to bring out these colors while still keeping the nice warm colors of the sky. Now, like a lot of adjustments, there's always an auto button, and that kind of helps out, but it's not exactly how I wanna do it. So if I press default, I'll show you the settings that you want to focus on to bring out a dark photo. So first of all, head over to the shadows and increase them a large amount. So now we can see some of that brick detail and that cool little Coca-Cola advertisement on the wall. But we can also lift the blacks overall to get some more brightness. Now as you can see, it's starting to wash out the overall photo a little bit and we're losing that nice sunset color. So in this case, we can turn the highlights down as well, and that'll bring some of that orange glow back. And then I'll also increase the contrast to remove some of that washed out look. You can also adjust the exposure up or down. In this case, I'm not really gonna adjust it much. And I like to increase the clarity. The clarity sliders are a really cool way to add sharpness and contrast to your photo. You can also adjust things like the temperature slider left or right to give a cooler or warmer appearance to the photo and also add a tint of green or purple. But I prefer to do my color grading in Photoshop. So fine tune these different sliders between highlights and shadows until you get a result that you like. So you can see in my case I brought out some cool details while still keeping the sunset of the background with those nice warm colors. At this point, you can actually save your image right in Camera Raw, or you can open it in Photoshop and continue working further. If you did enjoy this video, make sure you subscribe to my channel to stay tuned for weekly Photoshop and photo-related videos. And if you had any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.